A cannon. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about this thing? Well, it's an 1890s Hotchkiss cannon. Uh, they say it was used in the Indian Wars. It just sits in my front room. I have it facing the front door for anybody who wants to come in. <laughs> I love it. My passion has always been towards field artillery. In my opinion, being a cannon collector, the bigger the better. I bought this at an auction back east about 10 years ago, and now it's time to pass it on to someone else. Hey, Rick, how's it going? Hey, Rick, yeah. What do you got here? Um, a cannon. Uh -huh. <laughs> very nice. 1890, as indicated here. OK. Do they make any reproductions of these things? No. ATF won't allow it. OK. This is the first modern, self-contained cartridge firing gun in American inventory. Because the patina and little rust here and there, that's all indications that this is the real deal. OK. So how much does something like this go for? I mean, what can I pay for it and still make a few bucks? A good shootable gun like this, I would say $40,000 all day long. Oh, wow. That's good for me. I expected about 30. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Well, we haven't seen if it fires yet. And uh, I'd like to go take it out and fire it. All right. OK. Let's go see if it shoots. Okay. It shoots. I'll give you the 30 grand. Deal. OK. 30,000 bucks is on the line. Oh, boy. We want to make sure you have a clean bore for maximum accuracy here. That way, you get a consistent shot pattern. So do you mind if I shoot it? Uh, no, I prefer not to for safety reasons. I'm pretty safe. <laughs> oh, nope, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the moment of truth. If it fires, it's 30 grand. We're going to get it dialed in so we can kill your plant downrange there. Shoots it. <laughs> cannon fired, it deals a deal, and I own a cannon. I hope I did a good thing. I don't know. <laughs>